Take a yoga class. Maybe that's on your bucket list or maybe you've just been wanting to get out and get into the practice of it, but you don't know where to start. And that's where we turn to our in-house certified yoga instructor, Taylor Holt. She's here to share some tips on how to get started in today's Gateway to Wellness, sponsored by Regenerative Neuropathy. So... How should a newbie like me get started in yoga? <laughs> well, number one, and perhaps the most important thing, do your research. Every time you are getting into something new, you want to make sure you research it. So you want to find an instructor that has their 200-hour certification. Ooh, of course, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a process. <laughs> um, but more importantly, find an instructor that you can connect with, someone you trust to take you through your practice. That's number one. Number two, assess what you're looking for in your practice and your medical needs as well. So I always tell people, make sure you talk to a doctor, especially if you've had a past of injuries. Talk to your doctor before you get into any routine of exercise or yoga. That's number two. Uh, number three, take that beginner class. Now, you got some options for this. That can be an online or virtual class, or you can do an in-person yoga class, a beginning class. So usually that's like a yin or restore class. Uh, but whatever you do, make sure you're getting into one of those beginning classes where you're in a community-based class with people around you that are kind of at your same level. And so number four, when you come to class, make sure that you are prepared. So come with an open mind. Usually you can check what you need for that class. Sometimes it's really just a mat, uh, maybe a towel, maybe a water bottle. Um, and then anything else in the class that might be used like blocks or straps as modifications to poses, make sure that you take advantage of that, especially if you're just beginning, because those things are gonna help you really get into to the poses. So if you're starting from somewhere where you're not really flexible and you're trying to get there, mm -hmm. you definitely want to take advantage of those um, things that are in class, that are provided to you. And then lastly um, is practice and, at home. And, okay, so we're going to practice. So yes, we're going to Something gonna easy. We're going to do nice. a beginning pose. Okay. okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we're going to do child's pose. So we're gonna come down to our mat. Okay. This is one that you'll usually do in the beginning of your yoga class. So from here on your knees, <laughs> we're gonna just spread them slightly as far as feels comfortable to you. If These that's, old bones, let me tell that's you. That's all you okay. can do, that's all. Mm -hmm. And since the Ooh, knees... not you judging me. Okay, all right. <laughs> since the knees can be sensitive, you can always put like a towel or something underneath the knees for support. From here, we're going to bring our hands down to the mat and slowly just start to walk your hands forward, bringing your head and your chest down to the mat. Again, going just as far as feels comfortable to you. You can let your head, yep, rest on your mat here. And again, coming back to that breathing, you just wanna take this moment to focus on deep inhales and exhales. Now, another disclaimer, yoga should never be painful. So if you feel pain, back off, ease up, off of it a little bit. But I just encourage you to hold here for a couple breaths. How we feeling? We feel good. Okay, good. I can do this all day. And then you just hold here for however long you'd like to. When you are ready, you can walk your hands back towards your knees, bring your knees to touch. All kind of things started popping. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the workout in. And then we'll just come to a sitting position here to rest. I love that, okay. We got another position in the books yes. for me. Well, this is great advice. I always thank you for being here and walking us through something new. Remember, you can always watch and catch Tranquil Time with Taylor on Sunday mornings at 6 and 7. Gateway to Wellness is sponsored by Regenerative Neuropathy. So give them a call today at 618-622-2222 or visit regenerativeneuropathy.com.